suddenly want a horse. Put in. I'm confused. Says gays in Denver. Hi, hello team. My name is Monique. Welcome back to the cauldron where it is Wednesday and we are late. In case you didn't know, this is Book with Reviews, my channel. This is a reading vlog number 37. There are many. It is Wednesday. I'm sorry I'm late. It's just what happened. But I do have a reading update. I finished The Winter of the Witch yesterday by Catherine Arden, which is the last book in the Winter Night trilogy. I started reading The Bear and the Nightingale, which is the first book last week. It was good, solid four stars. In it, we follow Vasya, who is the youngest of five. She lost her mother when she was very young and her father remarries and they live out in this big landstead out in the middle of a sort of Russian inspired forest. And Vasya can see these sort of spirits that are inspired by Russian folklore. And her new stepmother can also see them, but she is a very devout Christian woman. And so a priest is brought to the village and things ensue things are not exactly what they seem there may be an ancient sort of prophecy there's a winter king it's very interesting the first two books i gave four stars the last book i adored it was a beautiful conclusion to this series i gave it five stars i cried i wept i suddenly want a horse yes so this is the last book off of the tbr and now we are going back to my actual tbr for december So now that we are back on my actual TBR, I will be reading The First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis, which is on my TBR as a sci-fi. I am very, very, very pumped about it. It has uh, nuns and uh, possible queer relationships and, and, and an evil empire and stuff. And we all know that I love those. So very excited about this. But yes, this is the introduction to a new week. Even though it's Wednesday, we'll see how it goes this week and whether I do anything exciting. I'll obviously take you along. So I'll see you later, team. Bye. Hello, team. It is first day and I have a reading update which is good I've just done some filming in my lunch break and now I'm going to actually sit but so what I'm currently reading is first sister and I am very intrigued by the whole premise of this book however it is too short for me to be okay with it already but I believe that there are another two books at least coming out in this series this is a sci-fi space opera and we are currently following two different perspectives and almost a third perspective which i believe is more like a message back to one of our other characters and basically we are in a far and wide galaxy we have as humanity uh, like taken over and live on venus and mars and basically i believe humanity has split in two so one is called the ikari and the other are called the jean and the jean are led by a republic but also by a religious sector called the sisters or the motherhood almost and basically young women are brought in um, and they are all sort of beautiful and they are brought in as advisors and almost as priestesses and somehow also in a way as like whores. I don't know if that's the correct way of like but basically they can be used by the people that they are on these spaceships with which I was not prepared for so that was a little bit of like a trigger warning I had hoped someone would tell me but basically we are following the first sister who was only ever referred to in that way and basically she is just trying to survive and do the best she can but the world is sort of against her and a new captain comes aboard her ship which means that she is not secure in her place as first sister anymore and that means that she might go down in the ranks again and stuff ensues and it it is really good it is very well written already however i feel like it might hurt my heart so don't come for me hello team it is friday here with a very quick little reading update before i go on to my uh works virtual christmas party so that's gonna be interesting which is why we're wearing the christmas sweaters we are only a few days from christmas and a whole week plus some days off i'm very very excited i'm gonna be cat sitting as well so you'll get cat 
cat footage very cute anyways reading update wise i am about 100 pages from the end of the first sister by linden a lewis i adore this it is a little bit more um world building than i thought it would be for like quite it's like a 350 page sci-fi but there's quite a lot of like like information going around and sort of like background building up we are still following two main characters sort of from either side of this um like human war it also seems like robots and such was something that we had or synthetics which was what they call it in the book was something that we had but they rebelled and then they sort of made a boundary in space and said if any human sort of cross this boundary we will come back and we will kill you all so that's a bit intense there is a uh, gender non-binary rep in here and queer rep it is still a little bit more intense than I was expecting with these uh, sisters who are basically like they are priestesses but they are also like more things than actual human beings. They are there to take confessions and if it pleases the people they can also take them physically which is not nice. So, um, but we have some interesting plot twists coming and I think I found out one I think I've noticed one that I'm like maybe but I'm very excited about reading the rest but as yes as I mentioned we are having a virtual Christmas party so we're gonna see how that goes but I have some uh, the, like takeout coming which is very exciting I'm gonna have sushi because I didn't pay for it ha 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 and then uh, I might have some drinks while webcamming my work um, other than that, yes, I had my regular little uh, coffee walk uh, lunch date with my best friend today. So I enjoyed that and then I will speak to you guys uh, tomorrow. Bye. Wait, I have a thingy to open. Open. We've been waiting for these. I'm believing this is my, yeah, it's my garland that's hopefully going to go in my hallway if it's not completely shitty. But it's been on the way for a very long time. Okay, we got some red berries. That's kind of cute. Thing. Why are you stuck there? Oh, a lot of metal things. Okay, this is um, interesting. There are meant to be lights on this. Okay, I did not already put in. I'm confused. What's happening? Yeah. This is not like my other one. Okay, here we go. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Okay, we are long. We got a little bow. The bow is cute. Okay, I'll deal with this. Hello team, it is Sunday. Time for reading update and then it is time to finish this reading vlog. Don't mind my very much not used exercise bike. Anyway, it's Sunday, as I said, um, girlfriend has gone to work and I am now home alone. So it is time to do some reading or, you know, just chill on my couch. We're sitting in a weird place because I cannot get out from underneath my duvet but at least it's Christmassy. It has avocados on it. Girlfriend got it for me before we moved in together and it's really cute. But yes, reading update. So I finished The First Sister by Lyndon A. Lewis yesterday after, well, during my little volunteer shift downstairs, which was my last one before Christmas. We'll see if we're in a lockdown in January or not. Probably what's gonna happen. This is a solid four star for me. There was a twist at the end that I was not sit like that I hadn't seen coming, which I found really interesting. Um, there were a couple of them that I had seen coming where I was like, oh okay. But overall I thought it was a really solid start to a series. I'm very excited about reading the next book, and I'm excited to see what more there's in store for this like series. So yeah, really enjoyed this. I started reading A Phoenix First Must Burn, which is edited by Patrice Catwell. It is a short story anthology, sort of exploring the black experience through fantasy, magic, sci-fi. It is by black and indigenous women and gender non-binary 
authors. Um, I'm only one and a half in. I don't know how fast I'm going to be able to read this because I for a long time had a really hard time connecting with short stories. Um, I have however read quite a few this year that I really enjoyed. Um, and I'm hoping that there will at least be a few of these that I'm really excited about. I am purposely going into 2021 looking for um, black female narratives and own voices, uh, fantasy books, especially from queer aspects and POC aspects. Um, so I'm excited about reading this. I did also find one book downstairs that I really wanted and that is um, Red, White and Royal Brew by Casey McQuiston, which is a romance novel that everyone on booktube either hates or loves. And from what I understand is that it is like a contemporary um, male male romance between the prince of England and the first son of sort of America where and I believe America in this book is led by a Latin woman so he is like the prince of the US and they get together there's a lot of banter there's a lot of people that I trust their opinions that love this book a lot and you know what I love some sass and I have found that some contemporaries are okay as long as there's gays in them so that's what we want so yeah this is what i'm currently reading i may at the same time as i'm reading this because it is short story start kings of the wild which is also on my tbr i am pretty sure i am going to finish my tbr even though it is still quite long because i will literally just be home alone for the last week of December. Well, not really alone, but like often we'll be working and I will just be chilling around by myself. So I'm just going to read a whole lot. But anyways, I don't know what this vlog is going to turn into. It is what it is. And um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button at the same time so you don't miss out on any other videos from me. You can also click the little bell, which will give you a notification when I put up a new video. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you are enjoying yourself. Stay safe over Christmas. And remember that you are not alone. I am proud of you and you are doing great. All right. Bye team.